Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Audio Channel Ignore, I'm going to show you another new feature in version 10 that allows you to individually ignore audio channels when you're using multi-channel recording. You might want to ignore a channel when someone is speaking out of turn, if there's conversation happening around a mic that isn't relevant to the proceedings and shouldn't end up in your mix recording, or for any other reason that you'd like to omit the audio coming in on any given channel for any amount of time. I'm in Eclipse and I'm going to go to my user settings, to the real time tab, and to my audio recording settings. In this window, I have four channels set up. The first channel is a mix channel, and then I have three other audio channels recording, each on a unique audio recording device. They're all using the same codec since I am mixing them together. In this case, I'm using Opus. And so when my real-time file begins, we'll see all four channels represented in the waveform display, and I'll show you how to ignore them. So now I'm going to start a real-time file. And you see that immediately before I even begin writing, all of my audio channels show up in my waveform display. And I can adjust my info bar for this demonstration to make it easier to see how you can ignore channels. So as you're writing and people in your job are speaking, there are a few different ways that you have to toggle the recording on and off. Generally speaking, when you're using mixed recording, you will not want to toggle channel zero off, so keep that in mind. However, to toggle a speaker off if someone is speaking out of turn, for instance, you can simply in the waveform display, click on a channel. And you see that now the channel that I clicked on says off. You can still see the waveform display bouncing, indicating that your mic is still working. However, unlike the other channels, which now say voice, and will indicate which microphone is hearing me the loudest by highlighting in blue, the channel that I clicked on is now toggled to say off. I can click on my other channels to turn those channels off as well. And while each of these channels is turned to off, they will not be collecting any recording data. And so if you have someone at a council table or somewhere else in the courtroom who is speaking out of turn, or making a lot of noise that you're concerned is going to end up, especially in your mixed recording, you can simply click on the channel to toggle the recording to off. To toggle the recording back to on, simply click on the channel again, and you'll see that whenever the channel is hearing audio, it says voice now, instead of continuously saying off. I'll click on channel one once again, and you see that the indicator remains off no matter what's going on. So you'll always be able to tell which of your channels are toggled on or off. However, clicking on the channels may not be what's most convenient. In addition to simply clicking a channel to ignore it or unignore it, you can also access the ignore channel function through the menus. I can go to tools, edit toggles, or hit shift alt E to access the edit toggles menu. And a new feature in version 10 within the Edit Toggles menu is the Audio Channel Toggles button. If I click on this button, you see that each of my channel is listed, and if a speaker has been assigned to it, that speaker name will also be listed here. In order to toggle a channel off or on, all I have to do is select it and press OK. And you see that immediately channel 2 has toggled to off, and channel 2 will now be ignored from my recording. In order to turn channel 2 back on, I can click on audio channel toggles again and simply click on channel 2 and press OK to turn it back on. And you don't have to simply toggle an audio channel off and then toggle it right back on. You can instead toggle multiple channels off and then toggle channels back on as you need them. Since this is still a lot of clicking, I'm also going to show you how to assign macros to keystrokes that you can use to automatically toggle these channels. I'm going to close out of this file for a moment. 
Because it may not always be convenient to reach for your mouse or touchpad, to click on a channel to ignore it, you may wish to implement a keystroke method solution instead. And because of this, we've created two groups of macros. These macros are going to be included in the final release of version 10, and I'll include a link where you can download them in the description of this video for now. These macros are going to be available in the portable macros folder that's built into the Eclipse file structure. To use them, I'm going to go to my user settings. I'm going to go to my edit tab. Once I'm in the edit tab, I can click on macros. And since I don't already have these macros, I can click on import. And next I'll click on portable macros. In the portable macros folder, there are two different options. There's toggle audio channels zero through eight and toggle audio channels zero through 16. You only want to use toggle audio channels 0 through 16 if you actually plan to use 10 or more audio channels. Most users won't use that many, and when you have a group macro with that many selections, the selections do require more finesse. And so, if you don't use more than 10 audio channels, go ahead and select the toggle audio channel 0 through 8 instead. This will allow you to toggle audio recording on and off for channels 0 through 8. So I'm going to select this file and press OK. And now that group of macros has been imported into my user settings. And since they are a group macro, I know that they'll be surrounded by curly brackets. I can scroll down to curly bracket T and you see that I see toggle audio channel zero all the way through toggle audio channel eight. Each of these macros are identical. They open the edit toggles window. They select the channel selector box and they select the appropriate channel to toggle on or off. The only difference between each of the macro is the channel number that's selected. And these have been turned into a group macro rather than nine individual macros so that you can use a single keystroke command rather than nine individual keystroke commands. So what I'm going to do is highlight toggle audio channel zero and click edit. And now I'm going to click on speed keys. In the keyboard command window, I'm going to choose standard or hyper keys. This should typically be set to standard for a command like this so that you'll know it'll work whenever you need it. And then I'm going to click in the keystroke box and I'm going to select the keystroke that I'd like to set this keyboard command to. In my case, I'm going to use control shift alt X because I know it's not used for anything else, but you can use any keystroke that you'd like. I'll press OK. And now control shift alt X has been entered as the keystroke for toggle audio channel zero channel. I'm gonna press okay. And you see that now the keystroke is listed next to the macro in the macro window. And since these are a group macro, I don't need to assign the same keystroke or a different keystroke to the rest of the macros in the group. This single keystroke assigned to this single macro will give me the opportunity to execute all the other macros as well. I'm going to press okay and okay. I'm going to start a real-time file and demonstrate the macros that we've just imported and assigned a keystroke to. And you see that as soon as the real-time began, all four of my audio channels, mix and channels one through three, have automatically begun recording. And you see that each of them says voice when I speak, and the one recognizing me the loudest is highlighted in blue. None of them currently say off, because none of them have been disabled. I'm going to press the keystroke I just set up, Control Shift Alt X, and you see that now I'm given the option to toggle channel zero through eight on and off. In this case, since all of my channels are toggled on, whichever channel I select will be toggled off. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and toggle off channel two by pressing two on my keyboard. And you see, that on the left hand side of my screen in my waveform display channel number two has indeed turned off and i did not have to click on it i used a simple keystroke command i'm going to press Control shift alt x once more and i'm going to press number two on my keyboard again to toggle channel number two back on and you see that immediately the off disappeared and the voice appears again as I speak into that microphone. 
And so once you have those macros imported, it is as simple as hitting a keystroke, followed by the channel number that you wish to toggle on or off. And again, remember that you probably don't want to toggle off channel zero unless you're not using mixed channels or you want to prevent all of your mixed channels from being heard, such as when proceedings may be off the record or confidential for any reason, or during breaks. Just remember that if you do toggle a channel off, it will always say off in the waveform display. And as long as it does say off, whatever that channel hears is not going to be recorded, or if you're using mixed channels, it's also not going to be added to the mixed channel. And again, I'm going to simply press my keystroke and I'll press number three on my keyboard to toggle channel number three back on. Since these commands are channel based, the toggle is specific to each channel. And so if I press my, and so if I press my macro keystroke, I can press number one to toggle channel one off. I can press my keystroke once more, press number two to toggle channel two off, and I'll press it again and press number three to toggle channel three off. And again, I can repeat the same steps to toggle the channels back on. These keystrokes give you a little bit more flexibility than using the mouse and are especially useful if you have a very small screen or if you don't make use of the info bar. And again, these macros will be included in the full release of Eclipse version 10. However, I'm going to provide a link to them in the description of this video in case you'd like to start using them now. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you'll make use of and enjoy this additional functionality to multi-channel recording. As always, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.